So uh, again, thank you to the Brain Foundation and the donors and organizers and the scientific committee for awarding us this um, grant. And Jana is particularly devastated to not be able to come today, but she's delighted to have delivered her son on Thursday, so it was a bit, bit tight timing. <laughs> so uh, just a bit in the background of the team. So Jana uh, is a neuroscientist who works in um, studying the development and, of the brain and, and focuses on traumatic brain injury. Mark, Vukovic, uh, uh, Mark Rutenberg, uh, studies is, an, uh, is a neuroscientist who studies uh, spinal cord injury. I'm actually, I did a PhD in neuroscience quite a while ago, but for the last 20 years I've been working in immunology. And over in the last two years or so, we formed a team where we've been focusing on trying to understand the impact of the immune system following injury in, in both in traumatic brain injury and spinal cord injury. And so we've been interested in understanding the cells that infiltrate the brain, pa the new, uh, immunological pathways that are activated, in, and the mechanisms that drive cell death and uh, pathological differentiation and injury, uh, perpetuation of injury in the brain. Uh, one of the pathways that we found to be activated early after traumatic brain injury is uh, the rho kinase pathway and particularly ROC2 and that's the basis of uh, the grant that the, the study that the, this grant will be fund funding. Um, so ROC2 in multiple disease inflammatory disease settings has been shown to drive pathological differentiation of immune cells as well as tissue resident cells. And it's been shown by blocking this pathway early on, you can attenuate inflammation and limit disease. And, and because of these studies, there's been a number of clinical uh, trials using a small molecule inhibitor of ROC2, and, to sh and it's been shown to be efficacious in limiting inflammation in diseases such as psoriasis, pulmonary fibrosis, and chronic graft versus host disease. So having seen that ROC2 is an, elevated immediately after traumatic brain injury, we're interested in uh, understanding whether this pathway is driving pathology and whether blocking this pathway will uh, uh, allow a means to improve outcomes of traumatic brain injury. So thank you.